In this particular video, we are going to discuss BSP tree method, also known as binary space partitioning method. So, at first we shall discuss the algorithm, then we shall explain it with one example. So, the binary space partitioning tree method is very effective in determining visibility relationship among a static group of 3D polygons. So, as seen from an arbitrary viewpoint. So, following is the procedure to build a BSP tree in the object space. So, select any polygon arbitrarily as the root of the tree that is the first partition plane. Partition the object space into two halves in the two spaces. So, one is the inside, another one is the outside of the partition plane determined by the normal to the plane. So, we shall draw one normal to the plane and in this way we shall have two spaces, one is the inside, another one is the outside. Some object polygon lie in the rear half and while the other in the front half with respect to the partition plane. So, here you will be having two spaces, one is the front half, another one is the rear half. If a polygon is intersected by the partition plane, split it into two polygons so that they can belong to different half spaces later on. So, select one polygon in the roots front as the left node or the child and another in the roots back as the right node or the child. Recursively subdivide spaces considering the plane of the children as partition planes until a subspace contains a single polygon. So, this is the respective algorithm. Now, for the better visibility of this algorithm, let us discuss one, uh, one example and there we will be explaining all these steps. So, in this very example, we have got one example here given. Here we are having one polygon P1, P2, P3, P4 and P5. So, if we consider this polygon, you can find this one that it is partitioning. We are having two partition planes here. So, one at the front and another one at the back. So, here you see this particular partition plane is intersecting with this poly polygon P4. So, that is why this particular polygon P4 has been divided into two parts. One is is your P4A and P4B. So, similarly we are having this polygon and here we have drawn the respective normals on these polygons. So, if you consider this partition plane, so in the front we are getting this P3, in the back we are getting this P2 here. So, now let me start constructing this BSP tree. So, at first we have taken this P1 as the arbitrary root. So, if you consider P1, this normal has been drawn here. So, this P, P, uh, P3, this polygon is in the front, is at the front. So, front we are having this left child of this P1, I have put the label front here and that is our polygon P2. So, now if we come to the in the back, we are getting this P2 in the back. So, I am writing this P2, there is a back of this P1. So, that is why you have written this one as a right child. Now, consider this P3. If you consider P3, then in the front you are getting this P4A. In the front there is no other polygons are there, you are getting P4A. So, that is the P4A will be at the front and there is a respective partitioning plane for against this P3 polygon. Next one if you consider this P P2, then in the front we are getting this one as P4B. So, that is the front we are getting this one as P4B and in the back I am getting this one as P5 polygon and this is a normal here. So, in this way the BSP tree has been formed and if you consider this P1 as a root polygon, here we are having front half polygons that is P3, P4A, you can find this one. And here we are having this rear half polygons that is P5, P2, P4B, then P1, then P3, then P4A. So, in this way, in how the BSP tree algorithm is executing, we have explained that one with one proper example. Thanks for watching this video.